Ooh, good wiggles, Bobo. You gonna get some sun, my son? Yeah. Charge up, solar bear. Makes me feel so much less alone. <laughs> like they're always watching and I never have to be afraid. Um, it is eight, we just looked and I already forgot something in the morning and I thought it'd be fun to vlog a what I eat in a day as a pregnant woman who has food aversion, nausea and Okay, so every morning I make myself a water jug and I try to have like one and a half to two of these jugs a day to stay hydrated. And what I put in them is coconut water, a little bit of lemon, and then distilled slash infused with something water. And Joe will be disappointed. I don't remember what the something is that's infused in the water but this is what i drink and the lemon tends to help with my nausea and it doesn't taste great it almost tastes like a mild tomato juice but i love tomato juice so it works for me i only do half a lemon per bottle because if you do too much lemon I personally have to run to the bathroom. So we're just gonna do the half the lemon. Dang, I was gonna say something else. Oh, I was gonna talk about food aversion. So people always talk about morning sickness and I'm putting in one can of the coconut water. People always talk about morning sickness but they don't really talk about this thing where like they don't talk about like what it is really. Like sometimes my mouth just starts watering like crazy and then I'm like, oh God, am I gonna vomit? And then I run to the bathroom thinking I'm gonna throw up and I don't throw up ever. And sometimes it's that something touches my tongue too far back, which is not that far back. And that's enough to trigger a vomit. Or I can just be violently disgusted by something and that's really what the food aversion is. I'm disgusted by things. Like to the point where it's like, get it out of here, it makes me wanna cry. It's disgusting, please. No, no, no. Um, uh, are you stuck outside the bedroom and you wanna go see daddy? Oh my baby, crying outside daddy's door. So sad but yeah so that's food aversion like violently disgusted by this shit, whatever it may be uh to the point of literally vomiting <sighs> like i was on a hike with rylan and i saw a dog throw up and i could have thrown up right there on the spot that's not food though i don't think of dog barf as food bad example so <laughs> like i had a bowl of chili and i had two bites of it and i just ooh. I can feel it in my throat right now. Had to get rid of it. Didn't trust that chili. That chili was sus. Couldn't eat it. So I'm just kind of hungry all the time and trying to get enough protein in my body because I'm building a baby. And that's really hard. Um, things that I found that are clutch are soft pasteurized goat cheese. It's pasteurized. Ladies in the comments who want to say something nasty about me eating soft goat cheese because it's on one of the longest lists of things I can't enjoy now. And I do that on like, oh, whole grain cracker, which is pretty delish. And that seems to be okay for me because it's, you know, some semblance of protein. Uh, vegetables make me bloat like crazy, which sucks because I love veggies. I used to really enjoy just like grubbing down on some like cottage cheese and celery and now celery makes me bloat so bad I can't move and I hurt and I feel like you need to hold me down like a cow and cut a hole in my tummy. Um, what doesn't hurt my tummy is fruit. So I've been eating a lot of fruit. I'm probably gonna cut these bad boys up right now and I'm gonna try to eat the apple with some almond butter so that I get a little bit of protein from the almond butter, but I'm really not sure how much protein is actually in almond butter. I'm not a dietitian. I'm just, you know, these are things I can eat. And I've been eating little bits of pineapple. Um, some people think that it's not great to have a lot of pineapple during pregnancy. And I don't care, I'm, it's something I can eat, so. <sighs> yeah, not a great orange today, but let's see, is it edible? It's like juiceless. 
Yeah, we're not eating that. Ugh. Ugh. Something else that's been really helping me is I have ah, organic peppermint tea every day. Um, I know that some tea bags can have nasty stuff in it. I think this is a brand that doesn't have nasty stuff in their tea bags. I get this. Um, I also am allowed to have 200 grams or milligrams or something of caffeine a day. So I get a little, get my little matcha fix and I mix it with the peppermint tea bag to sort of help my tummy and a little dollop of maple syrup. Oh, dropped her. Um, and that is quite delicious. That is a special treat for me. I quit drinking coffee well before I got pregnant because it was making me faint. So it's not like I'm giving up another thing there, which is nice. I finally decided something while I snacked on my apples to eat for breakfast. Um, I do wish I had breakfast sausages, I don't, but I'm gonna make eggs that are unrecognizable. They have so much salsa in them and cheese, quesadilla, and I'm gonna dip it in my prison sauce. Mmm. Really wish I had those sausages, but eggs have been kind of a touchy subject for me lately, and if I put enough cheese and salsa in them, then they're not really you know what I'm saying? It's a secret. Uh, but it literally takes about two hours for me to figure out what I'm going to be able to put in my body. <laughs> so I'm really busy. I pre-shred my own cheese because I'm trying to consume less microplastics. That's cheddar and Monterey Jack blended. <laughs> I like these because there's minimal ingredients and it's almond flour instead of regular flour. I don't know. Soy free seems good. I was told that soy was gonna hurt my nipples more, so I'm trying to avoid it, but I love me so soup. Watching my own pod. Come in here. My pregnant ass didn't hit roll when I finally ate my breakfast. It was about 12 p.m. when I started eating. Then I commented on how long it takes to get anything done while exhausted and sick and pregnant. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, am I zoomed in? Oh my God. You caught that, right? 222? Make a wish. <sighs> I am exhausted which is uh just um, my status quo now um watching roswell the one from the 90s not the remake that recently came out um for lunch we are having the tried and true chicken satay reheated one of the only things uh one of the best sources of protein i've been able to get down is this specific chicken satay chicken gives me the ick but not this and I love it I could eat it up and it's delicious and it's also kind of affordable it's basically the cost of fast food but it's just real ass chicken so I'm gonna eat that right now enjoy it and um, maybe rest a little bit the rest of my day Joe's working with his door open so you're getting all of his trade secrets Shh. I'm going to my goddad's house to watch love is blind and I'm gonna make myself Another, I'm calling it my my sad girl juice because it replenishes my tears. Another little water bottle for the road. Stay hydrated, ladies. Lay down, sit, lay down, lay down, lay down. This yeah. is my godfather. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> We're gonna have smash burgers and potatoes and salad. And do you have a cool new toy? Yes. <laughs> I do. I have this. What is that? Oh, it's a grill press. Sick. Hold it in your hand, it's very heavy. Oh, wow. How heavy yeah. is that? I don't know, it's like a couple pounds. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a little squish, but I'm gonna give it the bigger squish 
when I turn it over. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, you're just laying on your bones, early. All right, motherfuckers, that's my smash burger, my hand seas, my potato wedges. There's Coda, AKA Katie, bad girl on the block. And um, we're gonna watch Love is Blind. The wedding, the weddings. Last but not least, whipped cream, caramel ice cream, and under there, that dark void is a friggin' brownie. Yes, it is. <laughs> you guys, I have the best news. On Sunday, we hit spring sprungin', motherfuckers. And that means that the sun now stays up in the sky until 7 p.m. And when that happened, it's like the demon on my back incinerated and its ashes sunk down through the earth and back into hell. And I started feeling like a person again. Me, of all people, can you believe it? A person. My goodness, I never thought this day would come. Whew. So I thought we would do something retro, if you will, and uh, cook together. And one of the only things I told you guys that I could eat that was feeling good was yellow curry, yellow coconut curry. And I am not exorbitant, exorbitantly, exorbitantly, exorbitantly. If you know, please sound off in the comments below how to say that word, write it phonetically, thank you. Wealthy, I cannot afford to buy coconut yellow curry every single day of the week. So I thought, it, I should learn how to make it. So my husband took me to the store and we got all the fixins. And I am so excited to try and make it from home for the first time today with you. Let's get into it. Let's see if it gets less dark and adjust to me and my face so that you guys can see me. Yeah, did. Okay. So, I found this recipe from tastebetterfromscratch.com and it calls for a tablespoon of oil, half a large, are you coming out here? Half a large onion chopped, oh wait, I'm gonna double the recipe because it's me and my husband. Two tablespoons of oil, one large onion chopped, two pounds boneless, skinless chicken breasts cut into bite-sized pieces. This is, um, this is gonna be a tricky part for me because I need my breasts to be like, not grilled, but like, not like soft. Four medium gold potatoes, which I don't like potatoes in my curry, so I have replaced it with bell peppers and broccoli. Two large carrots, thinly sliced. Six to eight tablespoons yellow curry paste or homemade curry paste. My husband was so sweet. He dragged my sweet ass to two different Ralphs Trader Joe's and the only yellow curry we could find was at Trader Joe's and it is not a paste but a sauce. So I hope this works out. Four teaspoons freshly grated ginger, four cloves of garlic, 54 ounces of coconut milk, four teaspoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons lime juice, three tablespoons of brown shada, um, and then you serve it with hot cooked rice, um, white jasmine or brown rice, and you can garnish with cilantro or sriracha. My husband tastes soap when he tastes cilantro, so we shall be using um, something else. No garnish, to be honest. We're just not, we're not gonna garnish. We're not garnishing, we're not a garnish family. Okie dokie, well, let's go. Okay. Step one, heat oil in a large pot over medium-low heat. Add the onion, saute for a few minutes until softened, add the chicken, carrots, potatoes, and cook for a minute or two. Add ginger, garlic, and curry paste, and saute for three minutes. Listen, I don't know what world these people are from, but there's not a cold chance in hell I'm only cooking my chicken for a minute or two. So, 
that's wackadoosical. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the chicken and start cooking it immediately. And then I'm gonna add in the veggies. I even might do them separate, dude. I'm gonna do them separate just so my chicken can really get cooked. I'm gonna cut that up thin and stuff and then throw it into a pan. And I'm gonna cook the veggies in another pan. Uh, let's get to it. <laughs> I know what you people really came for. I know why you all keep coming back to my channel. I know what you want to see. And I'm not going to give it to you because I am a gracious king. Let's cut this onion. Okay, that's literally starting to smell so good. I'm in a Zoom meeting. Okay. Next phase of the operation is add I knew it was cans. Joe was like, it's not cans. 52 ounces is a lot for cans. And I was like, I think it's cans, bro. So it's one and a half cans of coconut milk to the pot. Stir cornstarch into, main, into remaining half can of coconut milk and add to the pot. I'm gonna split it 60, 30 or 75, 25 and do that. Uh, and add it to a pot. Oh, my life is fucking tragic, hard and dust, sad and need a pot. I'm gonna transfer this bitch to a pot. This is like a soup, bro. The fuck? Warn me next time. Oh, fuck that tubby. And that's hot. Oh. about getting a dog and I'm just like, do it, because they're really chill. Every girl that I've texted about this is like, do it right now! Get the dog! Get the dog! And I'm like, the voice is working on me. Do it! Get the dog! I don't even know what happened and now I am a dog, you know? I'm Barbara. Dude, dude. Um, His name is Bemo. So Beans and Bemo? And like, I don't know, I like Bima though. That's a fucking cool name. Yeah, like, I don't think I have to change that. If it was a stupid name, I'd change it. But like, <laughs> Beans and Bima, like, yes. Okay. One for each? Yeah. All right, there we go, fellas. We love it. Um, so Danica's here to take me for a hike. I've been hiking every day. Can I eat this bacon that's sitting here? Yeah, absolutely. Can you eat that bacon, dude? Cool. It's what it's for, it's a guest bacon. Oh yeah. Do you know how hard it is to make curry, dude? Man, I feel like professionals for that shit. I've tried, it never turned out like Right, okay, well I'm in the middle of doing my best. And it is, it is what it is, guys. You have to have the fish, or, or fish, fish sauce. Fish sauce? Boom! Good. Fish sauce, mother You have to have the fish sauce. Yeah, it says optional on here, and I'm just like, not, yeah, right. It's not optional. It's not optional. Danica recently posted a Dune part two review. Hey. Hey! Hey! Five, hey! Baby. 47 minutes long, baby! So if you're into Dune, get I up might in, do another one too. Like you can, you could probably do seven of them. I could do like a million of them. Yeah. The Dune content right now is popping off, bro. What a time to be alive. Um, really quickly, we're gonna bring this motherfucker to a boil. Then we're gonna reduce the heat and simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. God damn, that's forever or until the chicken and potatoes are cooked through. That's the other thing. These people are psycho about this chicken. Right. They're like, throw that shit in and cook it for three minutes. What? Huh? What? Huh? Like raw chicken? Three, yeah. 
I so I cooked it separate. It's like they're trying to kill us or something. No, three, I don't know about three minutes. No, it's not three minutes. That doesn't sound right. I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I just cooked it for like that's why it's taking so long. Yeah, I'm a bachelor. I cook bachelor things. Then I'm gonna stir in the fish sauce, brown sugar, and lime juice. Mm -hmm. We're gonna simmer for five more minutes, and then we're gonna serve it. Okay, so I turned the stove off. I added two more tablespoons of cornstarch willy-nilly because that shit is liquid like piss. Yeah. Um, yeah, yucky. No bueno. No bueno. Uh -huh. It's probably also because I used the wrong kind of coconut milk and for that I blame my husband, who originally I was lauding and saying I loved and was so grateful for, but now he's fucked me again. So I'm gonna take the dog's potty and I'm gonna go for a hike and come back and see if this is a little thicker. Any last words, Danny? Um, gotta bet that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, the curry on rice. Um, I'm gonna try it. I think the biggest bummer is that I did not use the canned coconut cream, and instead I used a whatever the fuck I used that carton. And I think that's the bummer. I think that's the biggest bummer. So next time I will be sure to get the can of coconut cream. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna try this. Joe's on his way home. See, I added some rice to it. Has my, added some rice to it. Honestly, it fucked. Um, and I know it will fall with the coconut cream. Damn. It'll do. It'll do, pig. Mmm. Mmm. It'll be so good with the canned coconut cream. Okay. Well, you guys, I missed you last week. I'm happy to tell you I'm feeling better. I'm feeling back. I'm feeling like me, at least for today. And I will see you next Tuesday. Love you. Have a good week. Bye.